you know how Steve Jobs says Apple has no plans for a netbook? Total BS. Introducing the first portable computer you already know how to use. Excuse me. It's my computer. I seem to be having trouble. I don't know anything about computers. I'm sorry. I don't know anything about computers either. Hello, it's Thursday, October 23rd, 2008. I'm John Pachkowski, and this is Digital Daily. Are online sales largely recession resistant? Not according to Amazon's latest earnings, though its third quarter profit rose 48% from the same period last year on revenues of $4.26 billion, the internet retailer has lowered its full year sales outlook by $1 billion. Earlier this year, Amazon projected $7.2 billion in revenue for its fourth quarter, which includes the all-important holiday shopping season. Now it expects revenue for that quarter to fall somewhere between $6 billion and $7 billion. Uh Uh-oh, the holidays are not going to be pretty. With U.S. broadband speeds lagging far behind European and Asian countries, Comcast is finally doing its part to bring the country's lousy broadband internet services into parity with those of other industrialized nations. You know, like Iceland or South Korea. Comcast plans to aggressively deploy its next-generation wideband service to 10 million homes by the end of the year, the company said Wednesday. Based on the ultra-fast data over cable service interface specification, the service should provide download speeds far in excess of those currently offered by the company. Comcast is offering the service in two tiers. The fastest, Extreme 50, will provide up to 50 megabits per second downstream for $139.95. Ultra will get you up to 22 megabits per second for $62.95. I remember a destructive love affair. Here at Lacuna, we have perfected a safe, effective technique for the focused erasure of troubling memories. In a matter of hours, our patented non-surgical procedure will rid you of painful memories and allow you a new and lasting peace of mind you'd never imagined possible. Targeted memory erasure may soon be more than just a plot device in romantic comedies like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. By manipulating a single protein, researchers have managed to eliminate traumatic memories from the brains of mice, and they've done it without impacting their ability to recall other memories. It's a remarkable discovery, and one that heralds the possibility of treatment for post-traumatic stress disorder and debilitating phobias, not to mention questionable new procedures for the Central Intelligence Agency and the Department of Homeland Security. That's it for Digital Daily. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow.